Namaste to everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the morning session. So we can start, I think, um, with exercise one. For those who may have missed yesterday, we were trying to observe the self by the self. We were looking within. And we said that this is one way. This is not the only way. There are many methods. But this is one way. And we will look at it step by step. There are seven steps in this exercise one. Again, these steps are one way of looking at it. But you know, depending on our competence as it grows, we may be able to do it in less number of steps as we will discuss later. Or in the beginning, if we find it difficult, we can split it down into smaller steps for our convenience. That is all up to us. But we'll come to that now. So I am observing myself. And it is possible to do that. We have the potential within. But a lot of times, because we are busy observing outside, we are not paying attention inside, therefore we don't observe. But we can be aware of ourselves. And we try to do this by observing the imagination that is going on within us all the time. So we have to try and observe this imagination and try to observe the desire the thought and the expectation in the imagination. Particularly, our focus will be the feeling that is associated with any desire. Because ultimately, that is what is driving this whole, you know, the imagination towards a particular direction. For instance, if I have a feeling of relationship, I may have thoughts of how to live with relationship with others. But if I have a feeling of opposition, my thoughts will go in that direction of opposing others. So if I have a feeling of opposition within me and I am trying to change my behavior or change my thoughts. It will require a lot of effort and I will not be able to sustain it because ultimately the feeling at the base is what is driving the thoughts, the expectations, and ultimately the behavior. Then it flows. Otherwise, We may be making a lot of effort in trying to show something outside as an expression, but then the feeling at the base inside is something different. So not only is it difficult to sustain, but we will find that whenever we have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable, we become uncomfortable. And this was in words or as information, but we will try to observe this directly for ourselves to see if we can experience this within. Because if I say feeling happy is one thing, but if I experience that happiness, that calm, that comfort within, then it is quite another. So we'll be observing the self by the self. We'll be observing the imagination, the feeling, the thought, and the expectation at any moment. After all, whenever you observe, you're observing at that moment. So go, try to observe the imagination going on within you at this moment, just the way it is. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to change it. Don't try to evaluate it. 
just observe. And we had um, given this uh, task yesterday to try and do this, to try to see the feelings, the thoughts, and the expectations in the imagination without evaluating, without analyzing, without trying to stop or change it. So if some of us were able to do it, we can um, give our observations. Uh -huh. uh, Didi, when we are uh, observing our feelings or we, when we are trying to observe our feelings in the moment, mm -hmm. I mean, do we also need to think in terms of uh, the same terminology we are using for feeling in the relationship. Uh, no, for now, no. Yeah. for now, what you can do is just try to observe that there is some feeling. Yes. Isn't it? Even because... if we can identify whether we are feeling comfortable or we are feeling hmm. uncomfortable, hmm. that feeling we have to catch. Okay. At the base. Yeah. So later yeah. on, you can we can tease it out or try to separate it out and see all that. Because otherwise, what happens is we get driven by the information. Yes. So we Words start only. thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, only it's just we are roaming around the terminology rather yes. than catching what is going on. Yes, right? true. So it can be just as subtle as like I am whether I am comfortable. Um, ah, to begin with, we'll see that. That, yeah. Because that is what is making the difference to me, no? Yes. Otherwise, if it is words, and I am not able to experience that, then it just it seems hollow. Because then you keep hearing, you know, people keep saying, hmm. "Why do I have to give in all the time? What if people take me for granted?" All those thoughts will come if we are not able to experience the calm, because it feels like drudgery. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. Didi, but there are, I mean, yesterday I tried to do it. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, so um, there are shades of it, right? I mean, there is, at one time, there is some, uh, you are calm about something. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is also little, uh, you know, worry that this, uh, or, you cannot say exactly worry. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, but you are looking forward to something that you are doing or trying or mm -hmm. working on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so there are subtler shades of it, and um, that's what I felt. I mean, yeah. So that's nice as we keep going because see, we 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 haven't been paying that much attention earlier. So yes. suddenly it seems like uh, so much might be there and how to tease it out, how to separate it out. Mm. So many thoughts may be there. Yeah, shifting mm -hmm. thoughts. And, yes. and sometimes it's like nothing actually uh, significant. It can be stable also. I mean, yes. Uh, see, what happens is we tend to see major changes in yeah. the thoughts. And when the thoughts are going on, calm, subtle, then we don't pay much attention. It's yeah. like the, the body, if you look at the body, when the body is in health, we don't even notice it. Uh, notice that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you have a slight pain in one corner of the toe. And how much you think about that, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, same way, when we have especially when we have disturbing thoughts, the mm -hmm. feeling actually is the one that is causing the problem for us because we feel mm -hmm. disturbed. We don't feel good. We don't feel comfortable. And when we don't observe, we don't know why. So it mm -hmm. looks like this outside, this person did this. That's why my mood got spoiled. So many people say, na, uh, somebody is in a bad mood whose face did you see in the morning <laughs> <laughs> but if we try to recall our face is the one that we see first in the morning <laughs> yeah yeah 
So, um, yeah, as we go along, we'll notice this and these feelings are changing moment yes. to moment, moment to moment. Yes. One moment I have a good feeling, next moment, good feeling in the sense, it's naturally acceptable, I feel good about it. Next moment, I may be having a feeling of opposition and I'm disturbed, I'm angry. And the next moment, something else is happening outside because we are constantly looking outside. If you recall yeah. these yeah. activities in the cell, if the, lower, if the lower activities are active, but the higher activities in B1 are dormant, we are constantly looking outside because there's no guidance from inside. Didi, one thing yes. like um, we need not be blaming outside or attaching something outside, but we can be in, uh, we may be blaming ourselves. I mean, yes. yes, quite possible. Quite possible. Okay. I should have behaved this way. But I have mm -hmm. not, or mm -hmm. um, I should have done this long ago, but I wasted time, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That is also possible, right? Yes. What I mean by the outside is assumptions. Other assumptions. Mm -hmm. Lot of assumptions we may have, right? So if I assume I can do a particular task in a particular time without knowing that whatever I do outside will be, you know, with lot of help from outside also. Mm. In the sense, it will not be entirely up to me sometimes. Mm. Isn't it? I make my effort yeah. and something happens. Yes. Like for instance, nature also helps. Like for instance, if you plant a seed in the soil, I think I am planting the seed. Mm. All I did was put that seed in the soil and maybe give it a little water. That's it. The rest is happening on its own. Correct. Yeah. So like that, whatever happens outside, I put effort for it. But if I don't have the right expectation of what should happen, then I will be disappointed. Supposing hmm. for a simple thing like I'm, I have to do some task, but I have assumed that this task I have to do at this time and somewhere I have linked it to my happiness. So I feel that if it is, it has to be done, only then I feel calm. Hmm. Now, if it doesn't get done, I am uncomfortable because I had decided it should be done, but hmm. then you know, I may have decided to do this and then my relatives came and something else happened and something else happened and the task got left behind, isn't it? So many yeah. things can happen, but mm. I mean, I'm just giving a gross example. Yeah, yeah. In this way, we keep going with assumptions without yes. the knowing. So assumptions are also from outside. Yes. The only thing that we get from inside is the knowing part. That part we, we are working on by referring to the natural acceptance. When we keep referring to the natural acceptance, slowly these higher activities will start opening up and we'll see the difference. Yeah. 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 We have to assume, mm -hmm. but we should be comfortable about our assumptions we are make, make, making. And we should know that we are making these assumptions because most of the times the resentment comes that we make assumptions, but we uh, we take as that we are knowing them in some sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> we assume what assume. we what we assume is true. Or yeah. Is yeah. Correct. Yes. correct. 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 Yes. Correct. That yeah. is true, and that's what I was trying to say. That this is all from outside. Remember what we talked about. Assumptions mm. with understanding or without understanding. Yes. Assumption mm. really, you can say it as acceptance. Mm. No? You accept yes. something as being true for you, but yes. you may not realize that it is not actually true. Mm. Like that simple example of the seed that you put in the soil. I mean, we can see that, but yes. a lot of times in many of our activities, this is what we do that we do something and we expect 
some result and that may not be you know the right expectation Definitely. and that is because of lack of observation of self also because you yes. assume something about the self absolutely yeah. absolutely yes. and yes. this is a very you know what you are saying about you know lack of knowledge about the self this shows up in so many different ways in so many things that we are doing every day if we do things with awareness of the self hmm. it is a very different picture because with the awareness of the self now you relate to the self of the other person right now what happens is hmm. we are not aware of our self so we are not aware of the other self also and we are largely operating with that assumption that we are the body largely hmm um you know and it because it's such a deep acceptance even though the information is there that we are not the body we are the self and all of that still it shows up in various forms again and again in different things that we do yeah when we talk to people when we you know whatever we do at the base you know what is going on within what that simple thing like that feeling Yes. so if i have you know my this happens very often um with women you know these examples many of them that the woman may have a certain feeling towards her own parents but a very different feeling towards the husband's parents and so on it can be yeah. true for men also of course so what is happening there is that assumption again is playing its part right mm. somebody linked body to body we yeah. accept somebody not linked that way we already don't have an acceptance so we keep finding fault with them you know yeah. and we justify all of that we are very good at justifying these things <laughs> but <laughs> rational we make ourselves yeah. feel good about it but at the base that feeling is not right then somewhere or the other as we start paying attention we find that it is disturbing mm. yeah 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 thank you didi but what happens is if i am trying to see some incident happened at that time i may not be able to observe the feeling so i am recalling that incident and trying to see what my feeling was that's what you're saying Yes, yes 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 so this is what we do uh, or we can do to begin with because it may be hard to observe you know at the time when it is happening but as we go along we need to eventually observe real time as it's happening moment to moment okay because yes. right at this moment you have one feeling the very next moment you may have a different feeling you go back and think of the incident and you're trying to recall that feeling right because you're not able to observe every moment because it's difficult we haven't been paying attention no suddenly we can't start observing everything so we tend to observe when things are disturbing for us we tend to notice that because somewhere we are like this example we were talking about the body also when there is health in the body we don't even think about it but if there is one slight disturbance some disharmony somewhere there is little pain now we keep thinking about that isn't it yeah so same way when there is in an event also or something if something is disturbing we want to try to find out what happened so we might go back and try to trace the feeling and initially those are the feelings we'll be able to catch first but as we go along we'll be able to see that behind every imagination or at the base of every imagination there is a feeling that feeling we are experiencing directly but we are not aware of it that we need to become aware of yeah yes sir yeah uh whenever i sit and observe myself uh, always the thoughts are coming the thoughts mm-hmm. are most of the thoughts are related to the uh, 
my work that mm-hmm. is uh, what i have to execute next moment mm-hmm. uh, like that how i can execute mm-hmm. and uh, that is how that ima- imagination about that work it is coming mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. so uh, we are organizing the student induction program so mm-hmm. i have to contact uh, that uh, next uh, resource person of tomorrow i have to call i have to uh, uh, remember uh, sorry my uh, about that yes. person like that always the thoughts are coming yes. and with the uh, good feeling only i observe that feeling uh, whatever i feel uh, when i want to do that work uh, that happiness are the good feeling is there this nice. is the observation i made ah. nice now hmm. we can also you know from time to time what is happening is we have some disturbance mhm those also we'll be able to see Mm-hmm. Sometimes what happens is when we sit in one place and we try to see, mm-hmm. we can see it better. But when we mm-hmm. are in the midst of activity, sometimes mm-hmm. we we are not able to like the earlier sharing mm-hmm. that was happening. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you can recall, retrace, and try mm-hmm. to see the feeling, or you can sometimes with the thoughts deduce the feeling because mm-hmm. of. the way you were thinking you can deduce that the feeling at the base must have been like this but eventually of course you have to be able to experience that because that is what is making the difference otherwise if we are just analyzing it's like something very dry something that we can't relate to something mm-hmm. that you know it's okay you read about it or it's a psychology or it's that then at that time it starts feeling it's not practical but when you start actually feeling or appreciating that feeling of being comfortable or being uncomfortable then you are able to um then it makes lot of sense it seems to be directly connected to you then even now it is but we may not be aware of it many a times but very nice yes we can observe the thoughts very good thank you thank you yes, so we'll go forward a little bit sometimes there are sharings like this that i can't see the feeling i can see many thoughts but i can't see the feeling like what is given here so if you are able to see your thoughts then you have to try to see that feeling behind the thought behind meaning it is more subtle so it's not it doesn't seem at the surface like the thoughts ultimately we have to see this complete imagination but we can try to do this hmm? the focus for our seeing is going to be the feeling and why do we say we shouldn't evaluate them we shouldn't react to them we shouldn't stop them we shouldn't change them because lot of times the feelings that we have within and the thoughts that we have within we may be surprised that we are thinking that way sometimes because we have a certain opinion about ourselves also and you know all of us would like to think that we are good people and you know, that we are whatever caring affectionate and all of those and sometimes we may not have thoughts of those that nature so it may be very disturbing for us if we see some thoughts or we observe some thoughts like this and so we try to stop those thoughts no no i should not think like this or we try to change those thoughts so if we are doing that that is also like a reaction right there so it's like one thought came up and i thought no oh, no this is not a good thought i should change the thought so i change the thought but ultimately we have to directly observe so to begin with we keep saying this that don't evaluate don't try to stop don't try to change it just observe it as it is okay it's like how you are say you know there is a toll booth and if you are sitting at the 
place where the person, you know, in that chamber who sits in the toll booth. Then you see the cars coming and the cars passing. You don't stop it. You don't reject it. You just keep seeing one car is coming, passing, one another car is coming, passing. So this way your thoughts will be coming and going. You are just observing. So this is what we have to do. It's a simple step, but may not seem simple when you're not able to see it. So many of us may not be able to see it right now, but that's okay. We can keep trying to observe without reacting. If we are reacting, oh my God, I can't see. Everybody is seeing. Even if one person shares, the whole impression we get is, oh, everybody uh, is seeing and I am not able to see. So the point is, if we are reacting, then we are not observing at that time. Then we are going, flowing in the thoughts in B2. Observation is from a slightly higher level. So we have to keep Yes, referring to our natural acceptance, of course, from time to time. But here, what we are doing is we are just directly trying to observe whatever is happening in the imagination, whatever may be the thoughts, whatever may be the feeling. To begin with, let's just observe. Yes. So this is a simple but important step. It is simple because Imagination, of course, is going on continuously. The capacity to observe is also innate. It's inherent in me. It is already there. I don't have to do anything special. I just have to decide. And I have to pay attention. Observe. A lot of times I am not able to observe because I think something outside is more important. So I'm paying more attention outside. It's almost as if we think something is going to get missed. But if we, you know, decide that we want to pay attention, if we think it is important for us, then we do pay attention. So we have to just take that decision that I'm going to pay attention and just try to observe. It's an important step because my happiness or unhappiness at any moment, at this moment and at any moment, it depends on my feeling and thought at that moment. So it depends on the imagination at that moment. So I have to observe it. Otherwise, I won't even know, which is what is happening a lot of times, like we were discussing. We say we have a bad mood and so on, but we don't know why. So we find some scapegoat outside. So somebody outside may trigger that feeling for you, but you know, ultimately we'll come to all this as we go in the further steps. But as of now, we'll just observe the imagination and try to you know, observe the feeling at the base of the imagination. So here example, one example is there. If I have thoughts of competition or a feeling of opposition, then I'm unhappy. But if I have thoughts of care and affection, feeling of relationship, I am happy. This is something that we cannot change. Meaning, this is part of our inherent self-organization, that whenever we have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable, we feel disturbed, we feel uncomfortable, we are unhappy. So you cannot have a feeling of opposition and be happy. That means we are not able to observe properly. He said that the thoughts are being driven by the feeling. Now we know that feeling of 
like you said, you know, feeling of relationship should be there. And that is what makes me happy. But one is, I may not be consciously aware of the feeling when I'm feeling it. It is one part. So I have to become conscious of that feeling that I experience when I have these thoughts. The other part can be that even if I feel, even if I see the feeling, even if I am feeling uncomfortable with the feeling of opposition, sometimes I still have feeling of opposition. In that case, there is also, you know, as we'll go deeper, we'll see that the feelings are also influenced by our sanskars. <clears throat> Whatever we have accepted about the other person or about my interaction with the other, another person or whatever may be the case. So there, that assumption is playing out. That deep-rooted assumption that has been going on, that something that I have accepted about the other person, that is playing out. So for instance, this happens a lot of times among you know spouses, husband and wife. So observing the thoughts, we will be uh, in the in the position to analyze them. This is what I'm saying. You don't have to analyze. Uh, okay. What is happening is we are analyzing, we are justifying, we are analyzing. Then at that moment, we are not observing, no? Okay. We are flowing with the thoughts. <clears throat> so rather and... than do that, just observe mm -hmm. it. For now, just observe it. Have mm -hmm. that... Uh, you know, satisfaction that we'll be doing this as we go along, we'll be able to see that. For any referring to the natural acceptance, I have to be able to see my feeling and then see my natural acceptance and then align it. But if I am not fully aware of my feeling, how will I do this step? I cannot do that step. So the first step is to just observe without trying to change or react or, you know, just observe. So for now, we'll just try to observe thoughts. If we can observe that feeling, well and good. If we can't observe the feeling, just observe the thoughts. Sometimes you'll be able to deduce the feeling from it. Sometimes, you, you know, you may or may not be able to do it. That's also okay. Just observe the thoughts as we keep observing we'll slowly be able to observe the feeling also at the base. Okay? okay. And then we move further. Uh, and there is sometimes the thoughts of opposition comes from outside. Mm -hmm. and they, um, they, they create the disbalance and disharmony in, in myself. Okay. So, so how are they coming that? from outside? And during the course of conversation or talking or some other issue or in the family. Is somebody putting their thoughts inside you? They, they are coming in my self through outside. So where are they coming? When I'm listening something, they definitely enter. <laughs> you try to observe this, you know. Okay. What I think is up to me. My thoughts I am thinking. Okay. Hmm? Thoughts are not coming from outside. What is happening is I am paying attention to the outside and based on whatever I think and whatever my assumptions are, I think something. See, I see something outside. I have some acceptance or non-acceptance of something outside. Based on that, I think something. In fact, based on that, I have some feeling. Based on that feeling, I have some thought. Try to observe this, that these thoughts are within myself. Somebody from outside, a different person cannot put thoughts inside me, no? Okay. But certainly I am being impacted by the outside because my inner higher activities are dormant. So I'm not looking at them. I'm constantly looking outside. So I'm taking stuff from outside. So I have so many preconditionings. I have assumed so many things. Isn't it? So like this example here. Thoughts of competition or feeling of opposition. Now, if I've heard from the beginning that 
you need to come first and it is a struggle for survival and you know unless you do such and such you cannot you know go through this rat race and all kinds of things i may have been assuming some you know throughout school i may have heard that i have to come first now if you have to come first and you have to have this competition you are going to have feeling of opposition isn't it yeah but is somebody else responsible for what i am thinking or am i responsible for what i am thinking because inside me there is also one you know very uh, important capacity within me and within everybody and that is the natural acceptance i can take reference from there also why am i limiting myself to taking reference only from outside it's because we are used to paying attention outside this is why we have to now start paying attention inside and start referring to our natural acceptance you will find that whenever you have feeling of opposition you are unhappy yeah and slowly as we go along you will notice that we can have whenever we want we can have feeling of relationship it's not to do with the outside it is to do with me I attention should not be attention should not be paid to the uh, to the opposite feelings coming outside are you saying like this the feeling is not coming from outside the feeling is within me okay. i am having that feeling i am having that thought but i am getting influenced by the outside okay the feeling is my own creation but because of whatever i am gathering from outside i am having this feeling within me now we will be referring to our natural acceptance and seeing what is innate to us not something from outside but what is innate a natural acceptance we can refer to it and if we keep referring to it slowly we bring our feelings thoughts in line with that that is very much doable and possible and okay. that will make our moments of happiness more and more yeah no okay. okay so for today this is what we'll be doing again we'll be going through our imagination maybe what i would suggest for everybody to do is maybe take 15 20 minutes in the day any time of day when you are not rushing or you don't have to go into some activity or you don't have to interact with a whole lot of people and you have some time to yourself when you are going to be undisturbed sit quietly close your eyes and observe what is happening inside just observe don't try to change whatever you are seeing even if you are having feelings of opposition if or if you are not able to observe the feeling even if you are having thoughts of competition of you know rejecting or you know opposition of opposing somebody else or whatever it may be just observe just see the thoughts and let them go don't hold on to them don't try to analyze them don't try to judge them don't try to evaluate them just keep observing and it might be helpful to write this down in a journal in a place where it is sort of you will be recapping some of the thoughts that you noticed so it in that sense it will be not at that moment it will be later you will be recalling and writing but still to begin with it might be useful so that you you notice that you have to pay attention to the thoughts that are flowing you don't have to get involved with the thought so you don't have to analyze it you don't have to change it just observe it and write it as your whatever you observed and we'll take your observations tomorrow